Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. I heard someone call this fortress the Gallows. Is it a prison? Used to be. Back in the Imperial days. They kept slaves here until the rebellion. Now the Templars run it and use it to lock up their mages. Guess not much has changed. <laughs> Are mages imprisoned here? Well, no more than anywhere else. It's a circle of magi now. Magic is to serve man, not rule him. And mages are better locked up where they don't hurt anyone. Why aren't we being allowed into the city? If it were up to me, I'd bar the gates and let you find somewhere else to beg. But it's not. Some of you lot might have legitimate business in the city. So Knight Commander Meredith wants us to sort you all out. Most of you are getting right back on your ships there. That's a Templar title. Why would a city guardsman answer to the Templars? We don't answer to her, but she's the power in Kirkwall. Don't know what would happen if the Viscount went against something she wanted. But he's sure never taken that chance. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. <sighs> yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Ewald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. We'll stop! Was Wesley based out of the Lothar in Georgia? I don't remember ever seeing him there. He served elsewhere. He was coming to find me at Ostagar. Were you familiar with every Templar in Lothering? How else was I supposed to know when to run and hide? Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. One of the guards said you were letting in people who have business in the city. That's right. We've seen you let lots of people through. Citizens and merchants that make it worth our while. I'll assume that you don't have any more coin than these gentlemen. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we have family here. Doesn't that mean anything? I've heard claims like that a thousand times already. Trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden, eventually. Until then, you stay here. Our uncle is Gamlin Amel. He knows we're coming. Surely someone could find him. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days! They just got here! That's it! We're carving our way out of here! Men! Let's make this quick! <laughs> Let's finish this! <laughs>
Unbelievable. <sighs> Captain, are you all right? I am. No thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not... Wait. I think someone's coming. Leandra! Damn girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband... dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My poor Carver didn't make it. A drastic guide him. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. I'm more concerned about Mother. Can you get her in at least? No. We stay together. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, uh, about the estate. It's, um, gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. Do we need to stay in Kirkwall? Let's go to another city. This was my home. I can't believe they won't let me come back. Every city on the coast's been hip deep in Ferelden since the Blight. You could try your luck further inland, I suppose, but it won't be easy. No. We're not putting Mother through that. We'll find a way. We don't have any choice, do we? I need to get my family into Kirkwall. I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your sister have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. So, you're selling us into indentured servitude? That's your idea? Think of it as having a job waiting for you in your new home. Wonderful. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. What do you think about this, Bethany? We've come this far. I don't care who we work for, as long as it means we don't have to go back. What kind of man is this Miran? He's a hired sword. What do you expect him to be like? I wouldn't bring him home for dinner or anything, but he's got a decent reputation. I wouldn't have asked him if I thought he'd cross you. How dangerous is this smuggler's work? Well, it won't be pretty working for her. She's a pretty small fish compared to some of the other thieves' guilds around here. But she's tough, she's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. 
Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. Are you a Senra? You must be Gamlin's niece. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. He didn't say anything about me, did he? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. I'd like to know more about what we'd be doing for you. I can be honest. We don't compete with the Thieves Guild, but we keep our fingers in a lot of pots. That said, we're not killers or slavers. Anything short of that, however, is fair game. Do what you want, but this sounds fishy to me. We can't afford to be choosy. I hear getting us into the city isn't cheap. If you're as good as your uncle claims, we're hoping you'll be worth it. After all, it's not every day we're offered an apostate services. It appears our uncle likes to talk. The Templars in Kirkwall like to think they have all mages properly leashed, but when has that ever been true? We can keep them from taking notice while you're with us. Wouldn't be the first time. Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars, so they let him set up his little shop here in the Gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard. But you can. Get our money from him and you're in. I've already told you. I can't give you any more for them. But that was everything we have. It's all we brought with us. And I feel for you, Sarah, but it's the best I can do. If they just let us into the city... I could get three times that price. <sighs> Myron? Your business is done. But... Oh. Now then, what can I do for you, Sarah? I didn't think there'd be any stores here in the fortress. There are many merchants who come here right now who can't afford the bribes to enter the city. So the Templars suggested having someone set up shop, temporarily. <laughs> and I am the lucky man. You mean you paid your own bribes to be here? If they allowed everyone to set up shop, this place would turn into a bazaar. Sadly, there's only so much I can do for those Fereldans. Poor sods. I'm sure you're very broken up over it. Uh, I meant you. Uh, folks like yourself. <clears throat> she didn't seem very happy with the deal you made. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Buy every piece of furniture these people dragged with them? I'm sure they'd rather not sell what little they have left. My point is that I'm running a business, not a charitable order. I'm sorry. I imagine the profits help with the guilt. I believe you owe your business partners something. Oh, I see. Should I go tell the guards? Not just yet. I want to hear this. So, Ethenril sent you to collect, did she? Too cowardly to do it herself. Care to step in here? Only because this toad deserves it. You have a choice. Pay, or I beat it out of you and your men. Hey! Stay back. Just... Uh, take what's in the chest. Take it all. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. Well, that should... Do it. Mm. 
Here you go. As requested. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. Any luck? Yes. They've agreed to help us. I'll speak to Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. Then we made it. The voyage is over. The blight may still spread, but for now we have a new home. If only Carver were here with us. And Wesley. Let's just see what happens. We have a long year ahead of us. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So she remained, paying off her debt. Made a name for herself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But, most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. Stays tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? But we heard you're going into the deep roads. Surely you'll need all the help you can. No! You're too late. Already done. This is a sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. We've fought and killed Darkspawn. How many of your hired men can say the same? Get in line, human. Half of Kirkwall wants to be my best friend right now. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. We've made a name for ourselves this last year. We'll find something. We have to. We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. <sighs> Maybe Gamlin knows someone who can talk to Bartram for us. He always seems to know what's going on. We might as well ask. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. Take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the merchant's guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> How do you do? Varric Tethras, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would. I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. You're part of Bartrand's venture. That's right. The Deep Roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. 
So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. You must have heard of my sister as well, then. Only a little. She is certainly welcome to come, but I'll leave that up to you. Frankly, I'd rather you take the credit. Madam, your secrets are safe with me. Find out what he's offering. We need a way into this expedition. There must be some way to persuade your brother to hire us on. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartran's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother is many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tie with a thousand darkspawn between you and the exit. Trust me, he'll come around. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. It sounds interesting. But if I had any gold, I wouldn't need this job. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the Deep Roads won't be crawling with Darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? There might be nothing down there except Darkspawn and Rubble. How can you be sure we'll make a profit? Well, Bartrand isn't grasping its strings. He's operating on some good information. Some of the Deep Roads are so old, even the Dwarves have forgotten them. We just need to get down there, then Bartrand will lead the way. You and I will be there to handle problems. What makes you so certain you'll be useful to me? I know everyone in this city worth knowing. I can help you find the jobs you need, and if you don't need me for that, there's always Bianca. You named your crossbow. And why not? She's a beauty. Isn't that right, sweetheart? What's to stop you from taking my investment and running? You'll be traveling with the expedition, and I'll be at your side. If I cross you, you'll be the first one to know, and I'll be the last. You're asking me to take a lot on faith. You're asking for a guarantee? I don't know that I can give you one. Look, I know the Templars have been asking questions. How terrible would it be to get out of the city for a while? If this works out, you'll be wealthy enough that the Order won't be able to touch you. You need the coin, and I need your help. We need each other. I can't make it sound better than that. You have a deal. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the Hanged Man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Ah, High Town, where the rich go to piss their money away. <laughs> this really is the best place in Kirkwall.
Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Aveline. Hello, Hawk. Been a while, hasn't it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. Still having trouble? I thought you were past all that. Lately, I don't know. I've been pushed out to some dead patrols. Maybe I stepped on someone's toes. You can be... forceful. My charm, right? I should be able to go where I'm needed. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity. If you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. It's been a year settling in. Are you all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. This must be a very different pace from serving King Kaelin. I love that life, but there's a new king for a new Ferelden. Seems cocksure, but I guess he was there when the Archdemon fell. Can't fault an active hand. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. You and Carver must have felt something similar. I don't know if that's right to say. I barely knew him. Death on that scale certainly has a finality to it. Sometimes I wonder. The blight is over. You could go back to Lothering. That wasn't home for me. It was just where the Horde pressed us. It wasn't the first village I saw fall. But you don't get used to people losing everything. It's not how I wanted to say goodbye. I'll say that. You can't go home again. That's supposed to be about maturity. It's not the same if you don't have the option. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. High women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. Do you have a name or anything else to go on? Not important. If we show up and they attack, they're bad. Simple as that. I'll wager it's smugglers, though. Like I said, seems like an obvious trap for a caravan. You've been nosing around outside your commission. I have contacts. And they're complaining about a lack of meat. Thugs and such. Someone is hiring. And one or two were told to prepare for travelers. You want to be good at this job? You pay attention to what's missing and when people arrange escape routes. Seems like you'd want to share this with your fellow guards. I will, if you sit on your hands. I'll send my alerts and someone else will lead a patrol. But there's profit and influence to be had. You're my friend, so I'm offering. I'm no guard, Evelyn. There's only so many of us. Temporary recruits are expected time to time, as long as they're competent. You still claim to be competent, right? Evelyn, you've got yourself a partner. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the Guard.
There might be some stragglers before the main group. Nothing we can't handle. Let them join the Maker. Stand ready, they come. Yeah!
We're close to the ambush hawk. Be ready. There's our targets for the purple guard! Well equipped for bandits, but dead is dead and the road is clear. Captain Jevon needs to know of this. Back to the barracks for your just reward. Messer, please stop kicking the wall. Who are you to talk to me like that? Not much room in the barracks, but there's nowhere I'd rather be. <laughs> there's Jevon's office. Wait while I explain our initiative. I don't know how they do it where you're from, guardswoman, but I decide the patrols, not you and your whims. You may have been put up for lieutenant in your first year, but I'll have no show-offs in my command. Have I made myself clear? Report to your post before I have you and your Ferelden accomplice jailed. A lot of yelling for doing him a favor. We killed a band of highwaymen. What does it matter whose patrol it was? It's not the first time he's made me wonder like this. Something is very wrong. So let's find out whose toes you actually stepped on. Then we should check the duty roster and see who was supposed to take that route. What have I stepped in this time? Threaten my friends. Not letting that one go, Captain. Aveline! I owe you for clearing that ambush the other night. Saved me a mess of trouble. Brennan, that route was yours? It was. Single patrol. I'd have been dead for sure. So there was nothing unusual about it at all? It had been clear for weeks. It didn't get unusual until after we heard about you and Aveline. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. Mm, the satchel? Pay and order assignments. Captain has us run deliveries to the outposts during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. You're a good one. So the satchel gets heavy the same day we discover an ambush. You're sure you want to pursue this? This is your superior we're talking about. If a guard has been put at risk, a good captain would want to know why. And if he's not a good captain, I want to know why. A messy way to pass information. Brennan already sent it along. Another guard is walking into the same trap. I can't let that happen. Brennan said Donick. A good man. Donick, Donick. I've got his route. A night walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. Miss
Everyone all right? I don't I make my was... guards fight gangs in Dark Corner. But if you'd like to help... Close to the ambush. I'm not losing another guard to this mess. out of nowhere. I took a few down, but there were too many at once. The captain said this route was supposed to be quiet. The seal of the Viscount. Office details. City accounts. Valuable to a guild of thieves. A sacrificial delivery with one of our own. Captain Jevon will answer. Exposing this kind of corruption could make the guards look weak. Then we look weak. The others deserve better. This goes to the office of the Viscount. This will be known. The captain likes his thieves so much. Let's see if they welcome him in prison. The Viscount must be terrible. How dare you! I am guard captain! I won't be treated like this! Ferelden, bitch! This was none of your affair! I'll see you hanged! Quartered. This will not stand! We found a number of debts to suspect peoples. Such poor character. But you, Aveline Valen, have proven your loyalty and ability. The guard deserves better than him, Messer. Indeed. The Viscount would have you put your care for the men into direct practice. You will assume the captain's job. What? In due time, of course. There will be training, approvals, months at least. But who better to rebuild respect than the woman who exposed this embarrassment? Resolve any outstanding business, guardswoman. You will be very busy. Varric, no. Well, you're the captain. Or you will be. It'll be easy. I'm not petitioning the Viscount to help you steal ownership of the Hanged Man. Steal? Madam, you wound me. I'm about to. Big changes are coming, huh? Captain of the Guard. Thank you, Wesley. That you keep his memory speaks well of him. He's not with me. I know that. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not. Either way, he knows no pain. You seemed a good man, for a Templar. I'm sure he's found peace. What I keep is that moment. I won't let anyone down like that again. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not. What do you mean by that? Wesley believed, and if he was correct, then that's where he is. 
But this business of the less the Maker does, the more he's proven, I don't find it compelling. But you married a Templar. I married a man. A good one. And he's gone. I have heard the chant. It is lovely. Perhaps that's all it needs to be. You clearly miss Wesley. But that's not the issue. Of course I miss him. But he's not coming back. Pining like a child serves no one. So I remember him. But I let him rest. You're not so kind to yourself, though. No. I don't see how you can take the blame for the Darkspawn Horde. I put him to the sword myself, Hawk. At his behest. I know in my head that it was right. So did Wesley. But in my heart, that cut was cruel. I can't imagine the Captain of the Guard will like wandering in my shadow. It's not like this job means we're on opposite sides. The good you do, it seems rather appropriate. Besides, I'll be making the patrol schedule. And I don't intend to lead from a desk. I look forward to working with you. Guard Captain Aveline. Still strange, isn't it? Captain of the Guard. Thank you for helping me get here, Hawk. It's where I should be.